Today we're making Pierre Max Hearts. He is a pop artist, starting a lot of his work in the 1960s, and did lots of artwork for the general public, such as art for the World Cup, Grammy Award, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, and the Super Bowl. Today we're going to be making a heart inspired by his work, taking some characteristics like the fact that the heart isn't completely connected, the mark making on the outside, and the yellow stripe on the inside. All right, so today we're going to be making a Peter Max inspired Valentine's Day card. So you would take your paper and you will fold it hamburger style. And we're going to first draw with crayon and then we're gonna fill in the rest with um, our paints. So the main things we need to do with crayon are the heart, maybe a few highlights um, and some other mark making. So for the heart, a lot of his hearts don't connect in the middle, which I found kind of interesting. So take any color you'd like, and you're gonna draw a heart, but don't connect the middle part. Uh, watch first, so you know what I mean. You're going to kind of do one half of it. And then the other half, don't let it touch on either end. All right, then you need a yellow crayon. We're gonna do some of the mark making that usually goes from the middle of the hearts. So this can be any color, but then you need a yellow crayon. From this gap to this gap, I want you to make a curved kind of abstract sketchy design. So you can kind of make it sketchy, you can make it a line, but go ahead and make a yellow design that kind of pours from that one part to the other. The last thing we're gonna do on the edges is that sometimes he has those kind of uh, lines that look almost like stitching on the edges. So on all your edges about an inch apart, go ahead and draw some lines that kind of look like stitching on the edge. So you'll do like a few lines on each side. They can be any color you want. So let's say I wanna do a few that are not the same color. It doesn't have to be a particular pattern. Okay, I'm gonna unfold my card so that way paint doesn't get on the inside. But then from this point, it's up to you to now paint in the heart in different, you can do the heart red or different sections, but definitely the background different sections. So if you don't have paint, you can color. Another alternative to paint, if you have markers and like a paintbrush or a Q-tip, is that on a plastic surface or tin foil, you can color with marker, and then you can use water, dip it into the marker and create marker paint. So any kind of slippery surface like tin foil or plastic, you can color on it with marker like this. If your markers work, and <laughs> color on it with markers and then take a wet, wet paintbrush and use it like paint. It's a quick and easy way to make watercolors if you don't have them.